Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is Thursday, and that means it is time for another whiskey review. Holy moly, I am so freaking excited because you guys knew, no, knew, you guys know how much I loved Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C922. It actually finished as one of my top whiskeys of the year, top bourbons, well, top bourbons of the year for 2022. And now we have the newest release from Elijah Craig. This is the A123. Holy moly, how are we in 2023 already? I can't believe it, but so excited to have this bottle. So excited to bring the review to you. I don't know how you could top what C922 was, but it, cause, because it was so good. It was so freaking good. So let's figure out if this one can even compete. Can it even be in the same category? I don't know, I'm ready to tell you guys. So let's do this. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. Cheers to you. Now let's dive in. So let's take a look at the specs on this one. This one comes in at 125.6 proof. I believe it's 12 years. Yep, 12 years old. So that's what we've got here. Um, after I do this, so I'm gonna do this review, tell you what I think of it, give you my score, and then I am going to do a blind against C922. Because you know what? The proof is in the blind, it always is. Takes all the bias away, Bill poured it for me, set it to the side, so we'll get to that in a minute, but first let's dive into this review. So right off the bat, I noticed this one is super, super dark super dark like holy moly like even when the bottle was sitting on the counter i'm like wow that is dark let's see what happens on the nose here <sighs> that is so freaking good on the nose it blows me away every time i take a sniff of this it's like super rich flavor caramel peanuts coffee chocolate vanilla bean it smells so freaking good like there is like a specific candy that i was thinking of right away like not candy but like a rich like chocolate peanutty not a snickers well it could be like a salted caramel snickers yeah that's kind of what it reminds me of but with cinnamon salted caramel snickers with cinnamon brown sugar oh just so freaking like oh that's what it is Actually, you know what like a big fudge brownie with like almonds in it and then maybe you like did a little drizzle of caramel over it and then you sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon? That's what it would be. That's what this is on the nose. It smells so good. It's very good on the nose. Oh yeah. Now let's see what it tastes like. I hope the palate tastes as good as the nose because the, the nose is like psh, fire. Okay, taste it. Holy freaking moly. Like, oh my goodness. That is insane. That is insanely good. If you like a very rich flavored, pow, you know I'm here kind of bourbon, that's what this is. If you like a Snickers bar, if you like chocolate, caramel, peanuts, you're definitely gonna get that in this. Super, super rich, super delicious. Oh my gosh. Like, this is so good. Mmm. It doesn't drink super hot either. Like it's 125, yeah, 125 proof. It tastes seriously like a dessert bar. That's what it tastes like. It is phenomenal. And then the finish is even amazing too to me because it finishes out with this nice layer of cinnamon and you can still taste that peanutty, chocolatey, caramelly. Oh, it's just good. And coffee, yeah, there's some coffee on the very back end. One more sip here. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Mm, creamy even. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. This is what good bourbon should taste like. This bottle makes me so freaking excited. I'm like, holy moly, wow. Like, wow, wow. I thought that that Lucky 7 15 year proprietor, like the new one that came out for 2023 was really good. This is next level good. Like that's really, really good. This is next level good. We're off to a roaring start here in 2023 with great bourbons. Oh my gosh. Like I cannot wait to see what this year brings, but this one's fantastic. And I'm gonna give this one four and a half corks out of five. Really freaking love it. Really, really good. Highly recommend it. If you see a bottle of it, pick it up. 
This is like Heaven Hill is coming back with a vengeance with these ECBPs. They're so good. C922 was amazing. A123 just as amazing, maybe even more so amazing. I don't know. That's why I'm gonna do this blind. So four and a half corks out of five on this. Love it, can't get enough of it. I mean, can't say enough good things. It's good. So let's set that to the side. Let's set that to the side. We have glass number two, glass number one. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Oh yeah. I feel like dancing, I feel like dancing. Yeah, you can't, like you can't uh, drink bourbon without dancing. No, you can, I'm just weird. Okay, here we go. So we've got the two glasses in front of me. Like I said, Bill poured these, they're blind. Don't know which one is which. I just know that they're here. So right off the bat, when I look at these, I actually think that glass number one is darker than glass number two, but that could mean nothing or that could mean something. Who knows? Let's start off with glass number one. <sighs> On the nose, this one is sweet. Vanilla, caramel, orange, orange, orange. Yeah, chocolatey orange. <sighs> Smells good. Ooh, that's really good too. Okay, let's taste this one. Mmm. That tastes sweeter than the one I, I just drank. That tastes more like brown sugar, cinnamon, vanilla, caramel, sweeter. Like sweeter ca candies, like sweeter chocolates. Um, caramels, caramels with like a little chocolate intertwined. That's really good. Let's see what glass two tastes like. Mmm. Oh yeah, that has more cinnamon, vanilla, chocolate, richness, a little nutty. Oh, that's good. Take another sip of water here. See, this is the fun part of doing a blind because I knew I loved C922. I love A123, I haven't had C922 in a while, like maybe a couple weeks, but this removes all the bias, right? Because I already have it in my head that I thought A123 was just like the bomb diggity dog. But this makes it a little more difficult right here. It's very, very good. Let's try it back and forth here. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Oh, there's that nutty chocolatiness. Hmm. That is really good. Holy cow. This is gonna be harder than I thought. I need to take a pause in here because I'm like just like going back and forth, back and forth. I need to do like, like I'm gonna do a fast forward thing in the video where I'm going like this. All right, that was way harder than I thought. Like I was like going back and forth, back and forth. I was like, gotta figure out. This was super difficult. These are so freaking good. No matter what, you're gonna have a winner. Like no matter what, these are phenomenal. I love them. They taste great, fantastic. Holy moly, go buy C922, go buy A123, I don't care. But I'm just gonna go with glass two over glass one. That's it, I, that's all I can say. Glass two over glass one. Let's figure out what glass one is first uh, before I look. My guess is glass two is A123 and glass one is C922, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so glass one is in second place. Oh shoot! Glass one is A123 and glass two is C922. I, I told you they could go neck and neck. I knew right away, well I didn't know right away, but my instant guess when I looked at the two glasses was that glass one was A123 because of the color difference. A123 is so much darker than C922. It might not be that easy to see on the camera, but it is. I don't care. Either way, these are both fantastic. I would buy both of them, recommend both of them. I can't say enough good things about either one of these glasses. They're phenomenal. So there you have it. I guess in this blind this time, C922, but literally it could have been A123. If I closed my eyes and went like, went like that, I would have picked A123. I don't know. So there you have it. 
holy freaking moly, go buy these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I'll be back with so much more next time. Bye.